In this lesson, we will review the questions and answer for IP version 4 addressing part 1. Let's get started with the first question. What are the main components of IP version 4? The main components of IP version 4 are IP address and subnet mask. Therefore, the answer for this question is A. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Introduction to subnetting. The question reads, Assuming the configuration on both routers are correct, which statements are true about the behavior of IP in this network? Let's look at the network diagram. As we can see, we are dealing with the slash 26 and slash 28 networks. The slash 26 gives us 6 hot bits or 64 IP addresses in a subnet. The slash 28 gives us 4 host bits or 16 IP addresses in a subnet. Now let's look at this portion of the network. As we can see, the interface F10 of router 1 belongs to the network. 10.25.62.64.26 However, PC1 belongs to the network 10.25.62.0.26 So, PC1 and the interface F10 of router 1 are not in the same network so they cannot ping each other so if PC1 cannot ping the interface F10 of router 1, so it cannot ping PC2. Now let's look at this portion of the network. As we can see, the interface F20 and PC2 belongs to the same network. 10. 26.70.0/28 and this network has the broadcast address 10.26.70.15 which means PC2 can ping to the interface F20 of router 2 and PC2 is not assigned with the broadcast address therefore the answers for this question are C and D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video Working with IP version 4 addressing. The question reads What were the solutions for IP version 4 exhaustion? As you know, there have been several solutions for IP version 4 exhaustion, which are to use a feature called classless interdomain routing or CIDR, or use private IP addresses with NAT, and also developed IP version 6. Therefore, the answers for this question are A, B, and D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Private IP networks. The question reads, which IP address below can be assigned to a host? First of all, we can easily recognize 127 is a reserved address. Now, let's look at this address. The slash 26 gives us 6 host bits or 32 addresses in a subnet. We also know 192 over here divided by 32 is 6 with no remainder. So it is the network address. For this address, the slash 28 gives us 4 host bits or 16 IP addresses ranging from 0 to 15. We also know 
158 divided by 16 is 9 with the remainder is 14 and 14 is for within this range so it is a host address for the last address over here the slash 30 gives us two host bits or four IP addresses ranging from 0 to 3 we also know 11 over here divided by 4 is 2 with the remainder is 3 so it is equal exactly to 3 so it is a broadcast address therefore the answer for this question is C you can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video working with IP version 4 addressing the question reads, you are assigned an address space of 172.16.0.0/16. You need to create subnets of the same size for 500 locations. Each subnet has 60 hosts. To answer this question, we know that the slash 16 gives us 16 host bits from which we will borrow to create subnets therefore the sum of subnet bits and host bits in a subnet must be equal to 16 creating 500 subnets requires at least 9 bits for subnets because 2 power of 9 equal to 512 subnets to have 60 hosts per subnet requires at least 6 bits for hosts because 2 power of 6 equal to 64 hosts therefore the correct answers must satisfy the requirements that it has at least 6 bits for hosts and at least 9 bits for subnets and the sum of the subnet bits and host bits in a subnet must be 16 therefore the answers for these questions are C and D you can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video private IP networks the question reads Per the network design, you are required to configure the last IP address of the subnet 10.26.70.128/29 on the interface F20 of router 2. Which command below will you use to configure? To answer this question, we know that the slash 29 gives us three host bits or eight IP addresses ranging from 0 to 7 and we know that the last octet is divided so the decimal number of the last octet of the subnet mask can be figured out by subtracting eight IP addresses from 256 which is the full octet and it is equal to 248 and the subnet with the network address 10.26.70.128/29 when we add 7 to 128 we will have the broadcast address and after that we subtract 1 we will have the last usable IP address and in this case it is 10.26.70.134 26.70.134 so the answer for this question is C you can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video working with IP version 4 addressing the question reads how IP version 4 class 1 addresses are created the answer for this question is B because 
It is a combination of using the leading bits and subnet mask. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Introduction to subnetting. This is the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.